Welcome. So here we go. I have to find the percent of change from 309 to 367. So what I want to do um, to find the percent of change, what we need to do is look at our initial amount. And our initial amount is going to be 308, or sorry, 309. So to go from 309 to 367, what they want to do is the change is going to be the difference of the two, right? So what I can do to kind of find the difference is I can just subtract my two values. All right, so that means the number, the change that I have for what my initial units was 308. Now, whenever we're dealing with percentages, Percentages are a, a special type of ratio dealing with a whole and a part. And that's, you know, when we get with fractions, we always talk about when we have the whole is going to be our new denominator and the numerator is going to be the part. So let's take a look at um, our initial point. So we have 309. That's going to be our total amount. So if I'm going to create a fraction with 309, um, if I had 100% or all of, my, all of my units, I would have 309 over 309. But what they're saying is there is a change of units. So out of 309 units, um, I only had 58 of them changed. So what you can see is change is going to be a part as 309 is going to be my whole. So 309, again, is you know what I initially started with. That's my whole. 58 is the part that changed out of my whole. Now, when dealing with percentages, we want to create that same idea, but percentages have a certain type of um, requirements in how we do the part in the whole. We create the part in the whole dealing with the whole cannot be larger than 100. All right? Now, the part can always be different, but the whole cannot be larger than 100. So therefore, I want to be able to figure out if, if I have 100% here, what is going to be the percent that would be equal to this 58 change out of 309. So what we're going to write is an x percent here, as that's the value that we're looking for. So what I can do here is I can just go ahead and cross multiply. So I can do 5800 equals 309x. Then I'm going to divide by 300. And, I'm sorry. Yes, divide by 309 on both sides. And therefore, use my nice little handy calculator I have here. I'll do 5,800 divided by 309, and that's going to equal 18.8%. And then the last thing we're going to look at is, you know, from is that going to be a percent of increase or decrease? Well, we look at what our initial starting point, what's our whole, and we notice that we increased 18.8% or 58 units of 367. And if you want to go back, what we can you know, notice is that 58, that amount that we changed, is going to be 18.8% of our total part of our unit. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you first find the percent of change. Thanks.